everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well. So today we're gonna look at the perfumes I have been absolutely loving recently and I'm just super excited to be sharing these with you today. Um, if it's your first time here, then a very warm welcome. I create new perfume videos every single week here on YouTube. So if that's something you would be interested in, then I would absolutely love it if you would click the subscribe button below and you can also activate the notification bell as well if you would like to be notified every time I upload a new video. So the first perfume in my collection that I've been absolutely loving is this beauty right here, number 51 Pour Femme from Rocha Parfums. Now this is a new addition to my collection and I was going to try and wait and show it in like an upcoming haul video that I have um, soon but to be honest I just couldn't wait like I was too excited. So to be quite honest I don't even know where to start with this fragrance you guys it's just absolutely divine. Oh it's so good so it's quite fruity but it's like warming it has this benzoin vanilla accord going on in here with some florals and that raspberry note in there is just so interesting. You would think you would think when you hear raspberry that it's going to be maybe like a bit too much or a bit too harsh or something, but absolutely not. It is just the perfect little kick of something in there to give it a little bit of um, attitude maybe, just a little bit of edge. And overall it's blended together like silk. It's so like smooth and alluring and this smells very, very mm, luxurious, you know? This smells the business to me. I have been wearing this non-stop since I got it fairly recently. Um, it was like a birthday treat. It is a fragrance that I kind of had on my radar for a wee while um, because I tested out the Rocha fragrances like quite a wee while ago now and I knew I liked this one. The detailing on these bottles is just incredible. Um, they're just absolutely stunning of course um, and the scent itself is absolutely divine. I've been wearing this one a lot. Even though it smells quite luxurious I have been finding this one really easy to just reach for day to day um, whether I'm having a day uptown or whether I'm kind of staying in or going to work it hasn't really mattered. I have been loving wearing this fragrance. It's so Moorish and addicting and um, definitely like signature scent worthy and all of that. I think this would make a beautiful, unique, um, luxurious signature scent. I just absolutely adore it. So I wanted to share this with you and just let you know that I'd been wearing it. Such a stunning addition to my collection. Um, I will be mentioning this one again in my upcoming haul video. I have treated myself to a few new fragrances. Like I mentioned, it was like my birthday. Um, fairly recently so like I got a few new fragrances this was one that I got for my birthday and um, I will mention it again in the haul along with some other new gems and um, but that is 51 Pour Femme a fragrance I've been absolutely obsessed with like it's so nice and um, you can purchase their sample set you can like pick that up and it has all of them from the line so I would really recommend like just having a try it's such a nice experience being able to um smell all of the fragrances from this line. It's a beautiful line of fragrances. Um, just to kind of summarise my favourites, I really love Danger. I own that one. I love 51, obviously. Um, Elixir is also very nice, but I would say my other favourites are probably Reckless and Enigma. So um, maybe you could pick up their sample set and like give them a try and let me know what you think, but I am certainly over the moon with this one. The next fragrance I have in my collection that I have been loving recently is this beauty here, Hypnotic Poison, the EDT from Dior. Yes, you guys, I have been absolutely loving this. Um, more than I was kind of expecting, to be honest. Like, this is a fragrance that it kind of disappointed me when I first purchased it because it wasn't as strong as I was hoping. But to be honest, as time has gone on, I've kind of been able to, like, look past that and appreciate the fragrance for what it is and it is certainly a very beautiful one so I think what it might be actually because it's a little bit on the softer side for springtime it's actually quite ideal you know like especially on a warmer day uh, maybe when you don't want anything too heavy and intoxicating um, 
yeah, that could be the reason why, but I've been really enjoying this one. And actually I did find that it was lasting longer than I was expecting. Um, you know, although it is, it's soft, so it's not exactly gonna be projecting that much, but I did catch like whiffs of it on myself throughout the day. It's just this stunning, like creamy, um, vanilla, sandalwood, almondy kind of delight with a little bit of creamy fruitiness in there from the plum. Um, it's just, it's such a stunning fragrance. <sighs> Very easy to wear as well. Um, I wore this one, I think it was uh, to work that I wore this one actually. This is just such a nice one. It's so kind of Moorish and comforting and cozy with that gourmand kind of aspect to it. The sweetness in here smells very um, well done and it's it's not too much, you know, it's it's quite, I don't want to say like luxurious, but yeah, the sweetness in here, it's very well done indeed. It's a really gorgeous fragrance. I've really been enjoying this one. I do spray quite a lot of this one, as I mentioned in my recent video about fragrances that I overspray. So I have like oversprayed it and it does, it lasts okay to be fair. And it's just been an absolute delight catching whiffs of this one. Like I say, it's very cozy, very comforting and um, just a really nice sweet delight. And that is Hypnotic Poison, the EDT that I've been really enjoying lately. This part of my hair is really annoying me. I just, I don't know whether to tuck it behind my ear or whether to just let it, I don't really know what to do. Next up today, of course, we have my Black Opium. Um, I have been enjoying this one just as usual, really. This is one of my most worn perfumes in my whole collection. It's one that never fails. It's just such a nice, easy reach, comforting, uh, feel good, mood lifting type of fragrance. To me, this is a very, very sensual, flirty, like feminine scent. So whenever I want to feel that kind of way, this is a really fantastic fragrance. Um, it's just got that sweet goodness with the coffee, the vanilla, the licorice, um, the slight fruitiness in here as well, maybe a touch of woodiness as well. Overall to me it's just a very like mm, sensual feminine scent and I've really been enjoying it as usual you know um, and that is Black Opium. Uh, next up today is a fragrance that I've been enjoying and it was actually my scent of the day on my birthday and that is Juliet Has A Gun. Mm. So I don't really know why I chose this fragrance to be my scent of the day on my birthday. It's not necessarily the type of scent I would uh, have thought I'd choose if that makes sense. Like I'd probably be more inclined to wear my black opium or I don't really know to be honest but this is the one that I wore and actually it was a perfect fragrance for that day. There's something about this that almost reminds me of cakes like not in the sense of it smelling like cake but there's something sweet and celebratory and slightly fizzy in this fragrance with that caramel notes and the sandalwood and the the kind of fruitiness as well like overall there's something that reminds me of like birthday cake in here and I suppose um to give you like a feel for it um I always find these two to be of a similar like fragrance family. They're not identical by any means, but there's something about both of these that almost remind me of each other. So just to give you a feel, but this is a really beautiful one. I would say uh, Juliet has a gun, mm, probably has a bit more going on in there as opposed to the Hypnotic Poison EDT. That one's a bit more of a simpler fragrance. This one has a bit more going on. So you have the, the raspberry, you have the iris, you have cheap rose as well, giving it a nice creaminess and giving it a really beautiful floral quality. And of course you have the caramel in here, the sandalwood. So it's a gorgeous, creamy, floral, woody, gourmand type of scent that for some reason reminds me of cake. Like as I was smelling it throughout the day, it was just giving me this like, really positive, celebratory, sweet kind of feeling. And I think that's the sort of thing you would probably want on your birthday, I don't know. But it was just a really gorgeous fragrance for that day. Um, I really enjoyed it. And I would say actually wearing it on my birthday, it kind of gave me like a renewed appreciation for this fragrance because um, for a while this one was kind of sitting there getting a bit forgotten about, which is terrible because it's actually such a good fragrance. But I think 
the fact I chose it to wear on my birthday and the fact that I enjoyed it so much. Like it really just reminded me of how good this one is and um, it does, it almost has this slightly fizzy texture to it. Um, I don't know if I want to say powdery, it's, it's not quite how I would describe powdery maybe, but it's more like fizzy. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. It's maybe coming from like the sandalwood and the raspberry together, like the creamy woodiness with that bright sort of fruity kick. Maybe those two notes coming together is creating that slightly sandpaper fizzy or like slightly powdery kind of feeling to it. It's just such a good fragrance, honestly. It's quite unique as well. Um, very likeable in my opinion and it is sweet but there's enough in there to temper that sweetness and balance it out it's very well-rounded um, Moorish and such a good one so that's Juliet has a gun mm. the next fragrance in my collection that I've been absolutely loving lately is this beauty here this classic Mongerland the EDP now um, I have been wearing this one quite a bit to be fair I've really been enjoying it um, it's become a nice, comforting, soothing go-to scent. It's really very um, soothing with that lavender, the vanilla. I love the iris in here. It's giving it that slightly cold nature, but somehow overall this fragrance is still warming and um, welcoming. It's a very, very feminine scent, very soft, very elegant with um, a slight mm, brightness and sweetness coming from those citrusy notes in the opening. Um, it's just such a gorgeous fragrance. I believe there's also rose and jasmine in here with the um, sandalwood in the base perhaps. And of course you have the lavender and vanilla also. I have just been really, really enjoying this one and I'm glad because actually this was another one that, um, this was another one almost, almost similar to Juliet has a gun, mm, like these two were sort of sitting there, not really getting worn. So this was another one in my collection that wasn't really getting a lot of love for a while, but I'm really glad that I've started wearing it more now because it's such a good one. Um, like for a while, I would say my go-to one from this line was the Intense. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad that I've started wearing this one more now. It's such a nice, easy fragrance to wear just so calming, really nice with that lavender notes. And it's not too, like I find lavender can sometimes be quite sharp and abrasive in some fragrances, like certainly in the original Libra, for example. And um, I can find it just a bit too bracing sometimes, but in here it's really very soft and it just kind of um, blends seamlessly with the, the vanilla in here. And it's just such a, a calming fragrance, like, I really, really like this one. For me now, it's kind of like a staple. I wouldn't want to be without this. And it's certainly been getting a lot of love recently. And that is the beautiful Mongolan, the EDP. The next fragrance I have in my collection that I've been absolutely loving is Narciso Rodriguez. For her, the EDT, of course, I have been loving this one. I've been wearing it quite a lot. I would say out of all of my Narciso fragrances, this has now been the one that I'm reaching for the most. Um, that wasn't always the case. So for a while I was reaching for my Poudre most of the time, um, but now I would say it's kind of the other way around. So this is the one that I'm wearing more than any of the others um, I have from that collection. Um, so it's quite surprising, I suppose. But maybe, again, maybe that's to do with the weather. Maybe this one is more evocative of spring to me and I've been more drawn to it for that reason. Um, I suppose I can probably underestimate the effect of the, the seasons on the fragrances that I choose to wear, to be honest. Um, but it probably does have like an effect on it for sure. This fragrance is unreal, you guys. I mean, it's so unique. I've never smelled anything like this. It's quite bright from the bergamot. It has that osmanthus and orange blossom in there, of course, with the musk. Um, I believe there's a touch of vanilla. There's vetiver. Oh, it's just absolutely incredible, you guys. And the, the lasting power and the sillage of this is um, incredible. I would give it a 10 out of 10 easily. So yeah, I've been absolutely loving this one. It's such a fantastic musky floral fragrance. Um, I would really recommend giving it a try. I know it's not for everyone. 
Um, I've heard quite a few of you mention the EDP. Actually, um, I have tried the EDP now and I would say I definitely prefer the EDT for me personally. Um, the EDP is very, very different. In a way, I'm kind of shocked that they're calling it like the same fragrance, but just EDP and EDT, because to me, they are like two completely different fragrances. I mean, the EDP has rose and peach, for example, and you do, well, I really smell those in it. And this one, it's os osmanthus, like it's more based on the white florals and the bergamot and the musk. So like, they're completely different in my opinion. Um, so anyway, but I prefer the EDT, I would say. The EDP is still nice, but I don't feel like a burning desire to add it into my collection, I wouldn't say. Oh, but I've been loving this and I'm glad I've started using it actually because I have like the bigger generous spray size. This one is like 75 mil, I think. And for a while I wasn't really using it, but now I definitely am. So that is Narciso for her EDT, a fragrance I've been absolutely loving. So there we have it, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments section which fragrances have you been enjoying recently. Um, also, let me know if the seasons affect which fragrances you pick, because again, I feel like I underestimate that hugely. Like I never really consider that to be a factor, but um, I have been noticing that I've been maybe wearing slightly different fragrances to the ones I normally would. And I don't know if that's maybe influenced by the change in seasons, the change in weather, because certainly like here in Scotland, um, the weather has definitely started to change. It's warming up now. The sun is out a lot more, which is fantastic because I get to sit out in the morning with my morning coffee and it's just been really lovely. Um, but yeah, that could be a factor for sure. Let me know what you think. And as ever, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of your um, beautiful comments like I truly truly appreciate you guys and I can't wait to chat with you in the comments of this video so take care and I look forward to seeing you again very soon in my next video bye